Whether you're mounting a scope, changing parts, or just simply cleaning your gun, you know that sometimes it can be a pain in the ass if you don't have the right setup. You're trying to punch out pins with the wrong size punch. You don't have the correct bit for your screwdriver. You don't have the right cleaning supplies. You're doing it on your lap. It can be a pain. So today what we're gonna do is go over a complete guide to working on your own guns at home. Let's check it out. So before we get started, as always, make sure your firearm is completely unloaded and no live ammo is on your bench. We want to physically inspect, make sure there's no magazines loaded, make sure there's nothing in the chamber so that we can safely work on our firearm. So whether it's a handgun, an AR, rifle, shotgun, no matter what it is, at some point you're probably gonna have to work on something or at least clean it. So when you're doing that, you want the right setup and tools to get the job done correctly and easily. Because like working on your car, sometimes you can absolutely want to pull your hair out, curse, and well, drink a lot after, to be honest. So the way that we're going to do this is start with the least expensive items, why you may need them, and work our way up towards some things that you may not need, but it will for sure help you out. So the least expensive items and the most important items that you're going to need are cleaning supplies. Honestly, every gun owner needs at least these essentials for cleaning from their handguns to rifles to shotguns to anything. So the first thing I'm going to talk about and the least expensive is going to be towels. So just regular shop towel, paper towels. You can take old t-shirts like we use here in the shop, cut them up, they work really well. And honestly, my favorite item, Q-tips. Q-tips work really, really well. They get down in crevices, they're cheap, they don't cost that much. You can clean them up, throw them away. One recommendation, don't get the super crappy $1 box of Q-tips. They bend, they just don't work well. Get the a little bit more expensive ones, three, four, five dollars, whatever they may be, but they're stiff so that you can get down in small spaces and not worry about it bending and cracking. And then finally, cleaning supplies. Now there is a million different options for cleaning supplies. I like to use Hoppies 9 um, pretty much across the board. Again, there's a lot of good brands and products. Just a simple oil and cleaner. So obviously you clean it, then you oil it. We have a couple of videos on our channel going over some different cleaning processes if you want to check those out. Now the next step up from your simple solutions and towels and q-tips is going to be some kits. So what that may include is something as simple as this Real Avid brush set. These work really well, especially if you put a lot of rounds down range, you start getting some carbon buildup. These have a plastic or nylon end on one side and then a brass or bronze on the other so you can really get that buildup gone. And then the next is just going to be a simple cleaning kit. This is a Real Avid AR-15 specific kit. So it's got your different brushes, it's got cleaning rods, it's got ends, it's got picks, it's got a lot of different things. For around that $30 mark, very inexpensive yet very effective. So I highly suggest getting a couple kits, You know, get a handgun kit, get a rifle kit, get a shotgun kit, Hoppies, Real Avid, there's a lot of really good options out there. All right, so the next step up is going to be getting a punch set and a screwdriver set. So for a punch set, for example, this is a Wheeler Master Roll Pin Punch Set. So it has regular punches and then it also has roll pin punches, which come in handy a lot. Also comes with a hammer. So let's take a look at the kit. So in this Wheeler Punch Set, what you're going to get is a couple different punches, uh, you know, in different sizes, all the way from 1 16th all the way up to 5 16th. So also in the set is a small hammer, has a Delrin end and a brass end. This is very, very, very handy when working on guns. You can use the Delrin or plastic end to actually hammer on stuff and not worry about marring it up. Now moving on to a bit set. Honestly, this is probably the best 
investment that you can make. Having a good set come with a handle, hex, Torx, Phillips, flats, it has everything that you're going to need. Honestly, I don't think I've ever been working on a gun and found that I don't have a bit in this set. So this set is a little bit more expensive coming in around that $100, but if you're working on your guns a lot, this is a must have. So the next item that I'm going to recommend is not needed, but it is very, very helpful. And sometimes I guess you could say it is needed, especially when mounting scopes. And that is a torque driver. So what these are are torque screwdrivers. I have a Real Avid Smart Torque Wrench, and then I have the Wheeler Fat Wrench. These let you set the inch pounds or foot pounds of torque that you're putting on certain items on your gun. So whether that be a scope mount, scope rings, hand guard, an action. There's a lot of items out there that need to be torqued correctly. So having one of these in your arsenal is very, very helpful. So looking at the two different torque drivers, we have the Real Avid Smart Torque Wrench, and then we have the Wheeler Fat Wrench. I have tested both of these. I've tested their accuracy, their longevity. I've used these a lot and they both work really, really well. So first let's take a look at the Real Avid. Again, it's very simple. You can adjust on the back. You can change your inch, foot pounds, all the way from 15 to 65 and 10 to 70. So this covers pretty much anything you'll ever use it for. Now let's look at the Fat Wrench, which is a little bit less expensive. Does come with some bits also. Again, the Fat Wrench is an OG in the game. They've been around a while. They work really well. Same way you pull the bottom and adjust your adjustment, set it to exactly what you're looking for. So now that we've looked at the general supplies, punches, bit sets, cleaning supplies, kits, all that good stuff, let's look at some more specialized tools specifically for the AR-15. So obviously the AR-15 is the most popular firearm on the market, very easy to work on, you're always tinkering with them. So having specific tools for doing the job on an AR is very important and can help a lot. So first, I think if you work on your AR, you have to have one of these wrenches. This is a Magpul Armors wrench. Coming in around $70, they can be a little bit expensive for what they are, but I promise you, if you ever work on your AR, you need one of these. You can adjust your barrel nut, your castle nut, your muzzle device, all kinds of different things that honestly you can't do without an armorer's wrench, especially easily. And next is an AR-15 action rod. So this is a Wheeler Delta Series action rod. And what this does is it fits into the receiver. You can chuck this in your vise, which we're gonna go over here in just a minute. And then you can work on your AR hands-free. So now let's take a look at why a vise may help you tremendously when working on your own guns. So if you guys have followed our channel for a while, you've seen in a lot of our videos, I've used this Real Avid Vice. So this is a Real Avid Armors Master Vice, comes in around that $300 range. So this is probably the most expensive item that you're going to use um, when cleaning or working on your own guns at home. Now you don't need a vice and it doesn't have to be a very expensive or a gun specific vice. You can go to your local hardware store, get a little Craftsman vice. Um, I wouldn't go too small as you're holding a, you know, eight, nine, 10, 12 pound rifle, but any type of vice where you can get hands free can really help you out. So taking a look at the Real Avid vice, one of the things that I really like about this vice is how modular it is. So I can remove these jaws have the metal jaws here, or then I can take the insert and have plastic with some grooves, or I can take the foam side if I really don't wanna mar something up. Along with that, it's on a ball head, so I can remove this pin, loosen my handle on the bottom, and then this vise moves a lot. You can get, you know, if you wanna work on something up here, you can push it back, lock it with my lever on the bottom. And then if I want this thing completely level, I'm going to shove my pin in, lock this down, 
and it is rock solid. So obviously to go along with a vise, you're gonna need a bench. Um, if you have a really thick butcher block bench, it's gonna be worth its weight in gold, but you can build a bench out of just some plywood or anything like that to get you by. Hope you liked today's video, guys. I hope you actually got something out of it. Uh, maybe you're nervous on working on your own guns at home. Maybe you're just getting started or you had been for a while and you're looking to add some new items. This is a very small list of items that may help whether you're working on your handgun or your AR. There's a lot of specialized tools out there. So, you know, do your research after you get the main things, your cleaning supplies, your screwdriver set, your punch set, all that good stuff then move on to those specialized tools to help you with the job. So if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to leave those below. I will leave links to everything we used in today's video. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button to see all of our upcoming tips, tricks, and education that we are going to have. And check us out at MidwestGunWorks.com.